Yo, 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 what's up? My name's Petrowski, and today we're going to be jumping into some random battles on Pokemon. So, I wish me, you know, hopefully, you guys wish me the best of luck. Let's go ahead and get into it. So, we see Dawn Fan immediately. Dawn Fan is a pretty fantastic lead. Unfortunately, mine doesn't have Stealth Rocks, but you know what? I don't know. It could be worse. I would like to, uh, I don't know. It actually makes it quite awkward. So, I would have loved to see Stealth Rocks on it. We do have Rapid Spin on it, but that means I really want to keep it alive. So, Head Smash. And rapid spin on this thing is a little awkward, but at the same time, honestly, we have Defog Letting in the back. We could always keep that. Choice Scarf Heracross. This is gonna be huge for us. Choice Specs, Gardevoir. What else do we have? Choice. Oh, we have a lot of specs in banded Pokemon. So, oh, this is a great lead. I'll take Dawn Fan versus versus Arcanine any day of the week. So we, okay, I think we just uh EQ here every time. Um, there's it's tempting to head smash. Especially predicting some sort of switch in. Or I could honestly rapid spin as well. I don't see Arcanine having anything to deal with me. I'm just going to throw up an EQ. See what he brings out. See if he switches into the flying type Pokemon. And he does. There we go. So he does have an immunity. That's good to know. And at least bait out. I'm super happy with that. I probably should have gone for head smash there. But I actually really want to keep this thing healthy. Hopefully that wasn't too greedy. Let's go ahead and see how this goes. So we have Pidgeot with Choice Band. Choice Band. Cho oh my goodness. Okay, so we actually have four choice Pokemon. I'm not sure if that'll be... That could be very good. It could be very bad. That'll be that'll be tough. So against Aerodactyl, I don't have the best amount of switch-ins. I'm going to guess that Kabutops is probably one of my best go-tos. trying to think if there is a better option. The issue is Kabutops is so frail. I wish I had something more. I could honestly just say and then go for the Head Smash. He might Stealth Rock here. The issue is I'm intimidated, is honestly, I, I, it sucks to lose the Head Smash recoil damage when I'm intimidated. Maybe I'm thinking about this too much. Hmm. I'm trying to think of other options here. Aerodactyl's so fast. Aerodactyl, Aerodactyl's a menace for so much of my team. I'm going to go for the Head Smash. He goes for the Hone Claws to set up. That's really good for me, so now I get the free Head Smash off. Hopefully it at least does 50% to him. Nice. 79% oh, love to see it. That's that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Fantastic. Fantastic news for me That's awesome. That's just great. So now I actually don't need to go for head smash here I'm pretty sure I think I just go for seed bomb. I could like I don't know if rapid spin KOs is the scary thing Seed bomb should kill I think I'm gonna go for seed bomb if it doesn't kill, yeah, he's not going to do that much damage to me with double edge and double edge. He doesn't take recoil. Thankfully, Seed Bomb does finish off. I was a little scared there. I was I was a little scared Seed Bomb wouldn't kill. I'm, in, I'm intimidated. I don't know. The fact that I minus one attack here is pretty huge. Okay. We, we, we got rid of that, that Aerodactyl, though, which is a disgusting threat for my team. And we want to get out of here. Absolutely out of here on the, uh, on the dude. We either can go... So, Pidgeot's not bad. Pidgeot might just be the play. I'm trying to think if I ever want to bring in... Like, Ledian here. Ledian... Honestly, if he goes for Spore, though... Ledian's the best play. And Ledian's also not a bad play. If he doesn't Spore... I think Ledian's actually the play here. Yep. I'm just gonna go Ledian here. So, Ledian, I can bring in in either Folk... U-Turn, Toxic... Like, I can, I can counter if I'm gonna survive. So, he goes for the Spore. Perfect. Getting Ledian Spored is, is ideal. This is probably the least powerful Pokemon on my team. My team is quite powerful. You know, not not considering as well. Um, from this point on, he's probably going to go for Focus Punch, right? I'm going to... Can Pidgeot tank a Focus Punch? Is the question. I'm not sure. Can Gardevoir outspeed? Gardevoir outspeeds, but it can't hit super well. I guess I can Psychic, right? Actually, I think the play is Gardevoir. I think I go Gardevoir because Pidgeot's not going to tank the Focus Punch as well. Whereas Gardevoir might tank it to a decent extent. It's not going to be fantastic, but it's a decently bulky Pokemon. Its defense stat is rough, 65. Let's go ahead and see what happens. I'm, I'm expecting a, a Focus Punch. So he actually goes for Sword Stance, which is even better for me. So now I can just go for a free Choice Specs Psychic. And if he stays in, he should die. Yes, beautiful. Stays in, he dies. If he switches, he's still going to take massive damage unless he has a dark type switch. This randoms battle going really, really well so far. Really happy with this play. I think I'm taking it slow and steady. 
I think this Pokemon Lo-Fi is honestly, honestly fantastic. Um, so he's probably going to U-turn here. I'm super happy to stay in and go for Psychic. He's not going to kill me. He's just in a light screen. That's fine as well. Um, he's not going to be able to kill me. I only do 24%. I guess without light screen, I would have done like 40 or 50, right? So honestly fair. Um, I think from here, I might just go Pidgeot. He might actually... Man, part of me really wants to go Heracross, but there's I just I can't do that. Part of me, in case of like a, a Will O' Wisp or a Toxic, I want to get the Guts proc. That's so greedy though. There's no way I can ever make that play. Um, I have to either go Pidgeot or Pidgeot's faster than Ledeon. We make the Pidgeot play. Pidgeot being faster is huge here. Goes for the U-turn. Yep, that's fine. That's totally fine. Pidgeot takes very little damage. It's, I don't know if he has a great switch in here. He actually might. He might have some sort of turbo defensive. He might have like a Steelix or a Dawn fan of his own or some sort of defensive wall because we don't really see one on his team yet. Let's see. He's really he's taking his time. I respect it. This, this is... I, I think I'm playing quite well this game, thankfully. I think it's just good to call yourself out when you, when you play well and call yourself out when you play bad. That's kind of my TLDR. Okay, so this... Now, this is scary. So, obviously, he's faster. Can I really tank a hit from this thing? Probably not, right? Actually, I don't know. I might be able to tank one hit. But the U-turn chip might have actually... He also might nasty plot if he's super greedy. If he's super greedy, he might nasty plot. Part of me really wants to just click Brave Bird here. I think I'm just going to Brave Bird. Wow. Oh, I actually outsped. Somehow, some way, he's focus Sash. What did he go for? Oh, he went for the counter. Wait, why would you? Oh, I guess he's focused. Oh, okay, sure. Wait, I'm super, super cool with that. I cannot believe he actually went for that. So now I can bring in Kabutops and Aqua Jet. That was kind of a fast decision, but I'm fine with this. Um, I can't believe that happened. So he was willing to give up his Alakazam to be able to take out my Pidgeot. I, I really don't think... Obviously, because it's, it's counter focus Sash Alakazam. So, his thought process, process was he could, like, bring it in and for, for sure take out any physical threat. I'm really, really surprised he he went for that play. But, fair enough. I, I mean, I, 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 wow. I'm just... I'm, I'm shocked by that. That's, that's crazy. Uh, and now he brings in this. And I'm safe to... I Yeah, I'm super happy to just choice band Aqua Jet. Absolutely. Yeah can two shot this thing this thing might not be able to one shot me i'm surprised he brought this in i guess he doesn't really have a great switch in here he w great willow wisp to be fair actually that's i don't know that's fair i think i guess his only option here to try to win the game he's staring down he has a really hard time winning the rest of this game i think he played really poorly around his alakazam his alakazam brelum and aerodactyl they all oh wow i couldn't finish him off oh my goodness okay well now i've got to make a play right oh well that's crazy Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I respect it. I respect it. He probably Morning Suns again here. The issue is I don't have anything that outspeeds him from this point. I'm Choice Band locked into Aqua Jet. I really want to switch out here. Um, the question is to what? I think I just might go... I might go Ledian, which kind of is weird. But I don't think this... This thing's going to have no setup. Like, the fact that this thing is... Um, I'm kind of sacrificing my Ledian here. Maybe too early. I want to be able to just buy some turns. I know he's in a Morning Sun. We'll see if I wake up. I want to be able to, like, maybe U-turn. Um, I could also counter here. If I wake up and get it... Actually, I should maybe save this for... But, like, I could wake up here. Oh, it's so greedy, though. I really just want to counter here. Ugh. Is it really worth wasting, like... Is it really worth wasting throwing away the Ledeon? I really don't think it is, but I want to make the play. Hmm. <laughs> I think it's worth, actually. I think it's worth because I can just... Oh, yeah, that did no damage. Wow. I think it's worth because I can safely come in on Dawnfan and throw up an EQ and probably survive one attack. Fire Spin did no damage. Probably going to throw up a Toxic or something here. Because Fire Spin's like a special move, I believe. I was expecting a Flare Blitz. This Rapidash set is really interesting. Morning Sun. Morning Sun, Will-O-Wisp, Fire Spin. It's like a very support utility set. Very, very interesting. Let's see if I can wake up and get the Toxic off. Yes, show me the Toxic. Yes. Ledian's early bird ability pulling through. 
try and keep that in mind. Uh, I think I'm just gonna stay in here and go for the go for the counter. See if he throws up. Now he throws up a special move anyway, which is totally fine. I'm super okay with that, honestly. Don't mind, don't mind. Don't mind, don't mind. So now this thing's 186 speed, which is super awkward. But now I can bring in Dawn Fan. He could go Ledian actually into my Dawn Fan. Ooh. Wow, my Kabudop's being burned here makes this extremely awkward. I'm Scarf Heracross, though, and he won't expect that. Scarf Heracross should be able to um, EQ kill this. 61%. Oh, not quite. Not quite, not quite. Wow, and Fireball took out. If I throw this game, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be surprised, but I, I should be good. I think it's actually really tough cleaning up this game with... Um, with yeah, it's really tough cleaning up this game with Kabudops burned. I think I just go Kabudops here. What do I need the safe switch into? I could go Dawn Fan, I guess. Actually, yeah, I think I just go Dawn Fan and Head Smash. Whatever, whatever comes in. I'm not scared of rocks or anything at this point. I just go Head Smash here. He shouldn't be able to take me out. Yeah, I should. Yes, I'm. I'm really glad I went this play. I think this was the correct play. Just bring a Dawn fan, throw up the head smash, and we do KO the Letty in through the reflect, which makes sense. It's four times weak to head smash. This shouldn't KO, I believe, with recoil. It's close. Yeah, I was supposed to I think it's like 10%. And then the Rapidash should be able to finish me off here, but that's totally, totally okay. Just throw up the head smash. Actually, I thought I was just throwing up EQ. Okay, drill runs. Interesting, interesting. I should be good from this point on. I don't like I don't see myself. I want to save Kabutops for after. I'm going to go Gardevoir here. I think I can just go Gardevoir and go for the uh, the Psychic. I don't think there's a reason to trick. I also gain, I also trace their Flash Fire, which is pretty huge, not going to lie. I should build a Psychic here. Yep, two-shot them. They do outspeed, so they can Morning Sun, but I'll be able to out-damage them. I'm going to be doing more damage than their... Uh, oh, they just go for the drill run. So that's going to be GG's. They do get a crit. I respect it. GG's to my first opponent. That was a pretty solid game. I feel like I played a little better than my opponent, but it wasn't like a... Like he played well. You know, that was a good game. I'll take that. I think he played... I think something that I need to improve on is he played the late game better than me. I feel like I play the late game much worse than my opponent. Like I almost I almost kind of threw that game in some weird ways. Um, but I, pl I think I played it like pretty flawlessly for like the first half. And then... I've really just started to make some... I get too comfortable. Like, I feel like I'm always I'm always playing from behind mentally from the start. But then once I get ahead, I get too comfortable and start making plays that don't really need to happen or are a little risky. Or, yeah, I start, I start, I start factor. I feel like I can lose... I feel like I have more to lose. And I make decisions based off of that. And sometimes that that uh, that can cost you. I'm really, really enjoying this uh, Pokemon Lo-Fi that I have in the background. This is... It's just, I don't know, it's just, it's really chilling me out, and I think it's really, really good for a PvP sort of circumstance, where I feel like I can definitely get a little too emotional, get a little too tilted sometimes, or just a little too into it, uh, and having that chill factor, having that calming effect keeps you focused, keeps you logical, and keeps you making better decisions in PvP. Love to see it. Let's go ahead, we're heading into the next game in 30 seconds. I actually want to go ahead and check, while we're waiting, let's go ahead and check the random statistics and see what Pokemon are doing really well. It's funny to see Master Rain. I don't think Master Rain's that great in randoms, honestly. Master Rain at 53, almost 54% win rate's hilarious. Um, Seedra, I actually think, is really good. Seedra, like, whether you get Disable Seedra or whatever set it may be, it's actually really good. Um, Tangela, I also feel, is quite good. Eviolite Tangela is really difficult to, to deal with. Uh, Magmar, I don't feel like it's that great. Okay, let's go ahead and get into our game. We do have a Shedinja. That's a little... A little difficult to, to walk around. Let's go ahead and see what we can do with that. We do also have the full-on Belly Drum Aqua Jet Osmeril, which I would love to play around properly. Machamp lead. I like this Machamp lead, and it has Bullet Punch. Flame Orb, Guts, Machamp lead. Love to see it. Life Orb, Ariados. This team is interesting because it's really weak in a lot of ways. So Ariados, Exploud, and Shedinja. Um, three very, very weak Pokemon. Blissey, Ozumarill, two very powerful Pokemon, and then Machamp, a an okay Pokemon. I really like Machamp. I wish he was good, but he's honestly not very good. And also, this is a really rough lead for us, but that is totally okay. 
I wonder if I can actually go to like what are the odds should what are the odds he doesn't have like Shadow Ball or something or some way to attack Shedinja? <laughs> what is Dust Lops gonna throw up first? Is is the question. I think my best play is gonna go to Ariados, but can I safe switch into it? I could go to I could go to Blissey, set up double screens. He might Will O Wisp off the bat. Which if he does Oh, I just am not familiar enough with playing against Dustlops. I know Dustlops' strategy to a decent extent. I know um, him as a Pokemon. But I'm not used to his, his moveset is kind of general. I know he goes Will-O-Wisp. <clears throat> Will-O-Wisp. Uh, I could go Shadow Sting, I guess. I think he's like a special attacker, right? Or he's just like, yeah, he's just a straight-up wall. He could be on like Future Sight or something. Disable. He could be on a lot of things. I might stay in here for the first sec. Uh, can I, though? Can I really afford it? I think, I, I think it's worth to try to pressure my opponent down. Stay in for the first sec and throw up a stone edge. See if I hit. I definitely miss. Uh, he misses Will-O-Wisp. So, yeah, that's what that's why I stayed in. Because I was I was uh, kind of weary or thinking about the Will-O-Wisp. And if he Will-O-Wisps, I'm literally guts my champ. So, my opponent already made a misplay. Or maybe he thought I was going to switch. But I'm really surprised he went for a... He went for a Will-O-Wisp facing down my champ. Which is generally a guts Pokemon. We get a crit and only do 50%. Shadow Ball does 21% to us. Yeah, I think I have to make a switch here. I, Oh, man. The question is... So if he's going for Shadow Ball... I really want to keep my Machamp healthy. It needs to be able to tank another hit. It's a pretty slow Pokemon. But this might be the only Pokemon that it outspeeds on his team. I'm going to go for a second Stone Edge. And then maybe into Bullet Punch. Now I think I have to Stone Edge again here. Ah, he has Pain Split as well. That's brutal. Yeah, this is my fault. I really wanted to switch out the Machamp early, and I was greedy and decided not to. That's on me. That's on me. Um, if he's in a Pain Split again, part of me wants to go Shedinja here. We've already seen Shadow Ball, though. Oof. Like, Blissey can come in... I'm just going to go Blissey. I'm going to go Blissey, set up double screens. I think there's no reason not to. Like, this Pokemon's not going to... Like, if he will me, it doesn't matter. If he Shadow Balls, I'm immune. There we go. Um, I should be super safe to just set up double screens. I'm going to go Reflect first. I'm just going to double screens and TP out. I feel like I should have done this earlier. Pain Split, literally don't care too much about, honestly, whatever. It's going to heal a lot. I actually healed so much because I'm obviously a high HP Pokemon. Pain Split works a lot better when the Pokemon's... High HP. I'm going to set up light screens, then TP out. This Dustlops is really, really difficult to deal with. Is is the TLDR. That's the TLDR, to be totally honest. I wonder if we could come in with uh, Exploud. We either come in with Exploud or Ariados. He just straight switches. He straight switches as I'm setting up screens. So the question is whether I go for a TP here or whether I hard switch. I think I'm going to hard switch into Shedinja. Because he probably goes for a fighting type attack here, right? I don't think he's going to have anything to deal with Shedinja. At least here. We could have, he could go for a rock attack, I guess. He does go for the head smash. Are you kidding me? I'm surprised he went for head smash there. I guess he's he's rocky. He's uh whatever the thing is. That's unfortunate. I'm actually going to protect here to stall out a PP of his head smash. Since it is like 8 PP total. We're getting some use out of our Shedinja while we can. If he sets up Stealth Rocks, our Shedinja is always going to go down. So that's why I'm trying to get some use out of it. My entire team is also super weak to head like this to this Pokemon. Um, I'm probably just going to sacrifice my Shedinja here. I'm going to go for Double Protect and just stall. Because the chip damage, yeah, we'll, we'll take that. The chip damage is going to be so irrelevant. I'm also stalling my own screens, which is a little unfortunate here. Um, but I want to be able to come in here on Machamp, I believe. I think this is a good Machamp play. The issue is he might go back to Dusk Lops, where he probably does, right? Um, I'm going to go for the X's are here. So there we go. He's going to take out my Shedinja, but that's okay. I don't see that Pokemon ever being able to set up and do enough. I could go Osmeril here and Belly Drum. But it's so risky. What are the odds the Head Smash takes me out? I wonder if he's Choice Band as well. It's possible he's choice banned. I really need a special attacker to be able to take him out, and I just really don't have access to that truly here. 
Yeah, I just realized I actually don't have a single special attacker on my entire team except for Exploud with Hyper Voice and Ice Beam. That's pretty hilarious. Uh, I'm going to bring in Machamp here. So I'm at a point where Machamp doesn't get great value here. I really want to go for Stone Edge here in prediction of the Dustlop switch. But if he doesn't switch and he stays in, it's so bad for me. Okay, goes for the switch. Okay, thank thank God we, we do. So my opponent does seem to be a good player. That is fantastic to see. It, it is truly fantastic to see. So on the dust lobs, I think I'm actually gonna go Osmeril and Belly Drum, which is weird. Or maybe Exploud and just throw up. Dude, this thing is so difficult to deal with. <laughs> like if I go Ariados, he just goes Agron. The only way I can like really, the only way I can really pressure and threaten both is if I go Osmeril and try to set up on his wall Pokemon. I feel like I just yeah, I have to go Osmeril and try to set up while I have screens up still. Reflect wears out though, which is super unfortunate. But you know what, could be worse. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Belly Drum. Let's see if my opponent can answer it. Let's see if I can win the game. Let's see what happens. I wonder if he'll Pain Split here. Just goes for the will o -Wisp. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the smart play. That is that is the smart play. I respect it. I respect it. My screens wear out. The question is, I think I just go for Aqua Jet here. Actually, Ice Punch does more damage, doesn't it? And I'm faster. I don't think there's a reason not to Ice Punch. Yep, Ice Punch is going to do more. Only 31%. I guess I'm burnt. Oh, I get Freeze. Okay. Oh, my goodness. That gives me a oh that literally gives me a chance to win this game. Don't don't unfreeze, please. This Dustlops is a nightmare for my team. Having the Dustlops Agron combo is just a nightmare. Oh wow. Absolutely wow. Uh, I just go for this again. Sure. Okay, we finish off the Dustlops. Oh, thank thank the heavens. Get that thing out of there. I just I could not deal with that Pokemon. He, that Pokemon countered my Machamp lead, it countered my Blissey, it countered really everything I had going on. Um, I wonder if Quick Attack kills me, even if so I go for Aqua Jet here, I think Aqua Jet might have higher prio. Yeah, I'll take, the, I'll take the chip. While I have Belly Drum active on this thing, I want to get off as much damage as I can, and he goes for Swords Dance. So he, I'm assuming he either has Sucker Punch or Quick Attack here, I don't think he would go for this without it. Yep, there it is. Fair enough. I, I respect, like, fair enough. Like, I, I have to, like, assume that he has that here. This guy's team really does counter me, though. I literally can't even come in with Aridos, and I can't, I can't Shadow Sneak and Revenge kill this thing, because it's normal type. The Agron and Dustlops, the Agron and Dustlops combo alone countered my Machamp, it countered my Aridos, it countered my Shedinja, it countered my Blissey. The only thing it didn't truly counter is my Exploud and Osmeril. And I used my Osmer to take out the Dustlops, and even that, like, whew, it's tough, man. It's a tough matchup. This is very, very tough. So he's always going to outspeed me and everything here. I think the play is to bring in, this is really unfortunate. I think the play is to bring in Blissey and throw up a counter. Not counter, a uh, Seismitoss. So I think it should be enough to kill Eradicate. But this might, yep, takes me out. That's okay. I, I just actually don't think there was a way for me to win this game. And that's okay. That totally that happens. My opponent played it very well, switching between the Dustlops and the Aggron. Um, so he's always going to sucker. Do I have anything? I don't think that's faster, of course. He can just facade. If he's faster, I don't think I have anything that ever lives this. Just thinking here. I can go Machamp. And bullet punch and hope he doesn't expect it. I think I actually should have gone for that before the Blissey play. Let's see if he sucker punches. I actually don't quite kill it. <laughs> I mean, okay, dude. He's gonna die to burn at least, but that is crazy sad. The fact that he gets to finish off my Machamp because I don't quite kill it. My last two Pokemon end up being um, both Life Orb Pokemon as well. Which really, really, really sucks here. Uh, I can't really sustain either of them long enough to be able to sweep out his team. I don't see myself winning this game. And he has a star me in the back. <laughs> yeah, you know what? We tried our best, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly, that only doing 29% is shocking. And I do 63%? That's honestly shocking. 
take the life orb chip just throw up the hyper voice he can honestly just switch if he makes a switch here to like agron thinking hyper voice is physical he could like hard throw he actually did what i was what it's only does 16 percent even so i can't believe he made that play wow i am shocked by that play oh my god it almost kills I, I can't believe my opponent made that play. Not gonna lie. He should be able to kill me here, though. Yeah. I, I'm... Okay, maybe it's... Maybe in a weird world, this game is winnable. Maybe in the most messed up world imaginable, this game is winnable. I really want to hope that I'm faster. Oh my god, I just do no damage to this dude. I'm gonna... Sh I don't even know if Shadow Sneak kills, but I think I have to try. Yeah, it literally doesn't kill. Oh, that's so sad. Talk about a hard count. He's going to go for head smash and obliterate me. Yep, GG's to my opponent. I thought about going for Megahorn there um, in case I outspeed because I wasn't sure if it killed, but I felt too, it felt too risky. But anyways, GG's. I lost 10 as a ELO for that, dude. Ugh, that one stings because I don't I don't see myself ever. I, I don't know. I feel like I played that game. I definitely made some misplays. I think I definitely should have gone into Machamp Bullet Punch before the um, the Blissey. That was, that was the biggest misplay. Um... That game was maybe, like, it was winnable because my opponent made the misplay of switching to Agron, but even that, like, whew. Anyway, on to the next. We do have Flying Gem, Acrobatics, Jump Pluff. That's pretty exciting, uh, as well as Swords Dance. I, I love this. I love this Jump Pluff set already. Uh, Choice Specs, Draco, Meteor Lead, Altaria is beautiful. This team is nuts. This team is nuts. Is this Focus Energy? Okay, I do not know how to play this, this set is the issue. Focus Energy, Scope Lens, Sniper, Kendra. I'm not familiar enough with this set. I'm absolutely super safe here to stay in. The question is, do I just go for the Draco off the bat? Sure, why not? Ah, oh, we missed. That's why not. <laughs> That's unfortunate. You guys, the Paralyze off on me. That's going to be unfortunate for this Pokemon. We're going to go. He's going to outspeed me now, but I should be safe to go for Draco again. Actually, he out. Oh, did he use a slow move? What did he do? Let's see what he used here. Dragon Tail. Oh, yeah. That's ideal for me. Please switch me out for free after using my... Uh... And I have Natural Cure on this thing. Beautiful. Definitely didn't expect that. Oh, wow. That's really bad for my opponent. To be fair, he made a misplay. He should never... You should never... Um, never make that play. You should, <laughs> you should never uh, do what he did. So, um, I wonder... Does this thing have Rock Head? Oh, this Pokemon's beautiful. I just Head Smash here. He didn't switch out. I was assuming a switch in preparation for EQ. Okay. Right off the bat, I can tell my opponent's not the best PvP player in the world, to say it nicely. So I'm going to be trying to work off of that assumption um, for the rest of the game. I'm going to go for Heavy Slam here, actually. He goes for sub. Really? Interesting. Interesting for sure. You know I'm Steelix, right? And you're Arbok? I think, like, the worst thing he could do to me is maybe, like, EQ me, and then even that's not going to do that much damage to me. I'm shocked by my... Yeah, just go camera up, dude. I guess he couldn't have gone camera up that well. Because if... Wait, he... Wow. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm in shock. My opponent is... I, I don't think they've made a correct play all game so far. Um, the risky thing going camera up there is being scared of my EQ. I don't have sturdy, though. Which is interesting, so he probably just one-shots me. I'm also scared of his eruption. The thing is that I do have Kingdra, which is four times resistant. So I can go ahead and switch in Kingdra decently safely here. Uh, I'm a little scared of camera up to being eruption. Which it probably is, right? Um, but Kingdra should be able to tank. Oh, he's rock polish. Okay. I was scared of choice specs eruption, but this is... This is something that is interesting. This is something that's interesting for sure. I'm going to go for the Hydro Bomb up here. I could go for like an Agility or a Focus Energy to sort of... Wow, EQ does a lot of damage to me there. Uh, I could go for one of those other moves to sort of prep, prepare and maybe, you know, get a huge lead. The issue is if I go for one of those moves and then I miss the Hydro Pump, it being like 80% accuracy, uh, it just throws the whole... It, like, it puts me at a... It loses my Kingdra, right? It's a huge disadvantage. So I'd rather just go for the Hydro Pump. He stays in as camera up and goes for a Hydro Pump against a Kingdra for who knows what reason um the question here is what can i switch into this sharpedo do i give my do i really give my kingdra here he might go for an sd i 
Can I just go steal it? Can I just go? I think I can just go steal it pretty safely. Yeah, I'm just gonna go steal it. I should be able to tank two hits from this dude. No matter what he throws up. Unless he has like an like surf or something. Yeah, crunch. There we go. Tank that super easily. Oh yeah, we basically lose no HP. And now I'm pretty safe to throw up like a head smash or an EQ. The question is... I think I should go for EQ. Yeah, EQ stab. Oh, he, he does have Scald. That's what I was saying. I was scared of, of Surf or something. Oh, and I get Parahexed. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, that's so unfortunate. So he actually is mixed Sharpedo with Crunch Scald. Ah, that is sad. You always hate to see that, not gonna lie. Um, do I give my Steelix here is the question. Man, that is really sad. That is actually so sad. The issue is I don't really have a great way to outspeed this thing. He probably goes for Scald again. I could just go Jump Bluff. I just really want to keep this Jump Bluff healthy if possible. I'm going to keep my Steelix as a sack, I think, for the time being. And go Jump Bluff. Actually, no, this thing could have a rock move, though. And if I miss the Sleep Powder... I mean, if he has that anyway, let's just go for it. I'm going to go for the Jump Bluff play. Hopefully, I can tank a hit. Maybe take 40%. Honestly, 16%. Beautiful. Uh, I should be faster than him. If he burns me, it's actually really bad, though. Oh, lot of poor RNG so far this fight. This battle. Can I have the Sleep Powder to make up for it? Okay. We'll hit the Sleep Powder to make up for it at the very least. Man. Brutal, brutal RNG so far. Brutal plays happening. I'm going to SD once. And then go for the bullet seed. He's going to go for the switch. That is fantastic for me. Oh my god. I'm, I'm going to have swords dance, acrobatics into the Hitmonlee. The issue is if Hitmonlee is Scarf. Hitmonlee might be Scarf. And he might go for a stone edge here. But he could miss. I think it's just totally fine to stay on jump bluff here. It's already burned. Although it is nice to have access to sleep powder at a fast pace. Nope, he doesn't have Scarf. He just gets destroyed. I'm really glad I didn't overpredict my opponent there. I, I've, I, yeah, I've already I've already acknowledged my opponent may not be the best PvP player. I'm really, really glad I didn't overpredict and go for a switch there. Uh, I should be able to Acrobatics again. Interesting play. This thing definitely isn't Scarf. You would never see a Scarf let in. Watch it be Scarf. Yeah, okay, a lot of damage there. What? Yeah, my opponent is just whew, throwing it all away. I respect it though. So he gets up to reflect. I guess he's giving up his Ledian. Um, I wonder, his his last Pokemon might be very powerful. I assume that his last unrevealed Pokemon is very powerful, or he's either rely, yeah, he's either relying he's relying on Machamp, which I should be able to outspeed here again and get off an Acrobatics. He shouldn't be like Scarf Machamp. I'm shocked by the decisions here. He keeps, like, sacrificing a Pokemon. I mean, actually, I guess Reflect will keep him alive, but... I definitely can't one-shot... I definitely cannot one-shot Machamp with only one SD up and a... Uh, yeah, with Burn. Yeah, I'm only, I was about to say, I'm only probably doing, like, 40%, honestly. Facade. He's Facade without being burned yet. My dude, you're not burned yet. You haven't got your, your Flame Orb proc. There you go. There you go, dude. Okay, we just Acrobatics again. He pull a punch. Okay, fair, fair play, fair play. Pull a punch is a fair play. So what do we do here? Is the question. We have a couple of different options. Psycho cut Macham, Metacham. The problem is, Psycho cut Metacham is really, really good here, and I don't want to be too risky with it because if he switches to Sharpedo, it's actually like a genius play. Um, I think it's just so much safer to just like go Altaria and get like a Draco Meteor off safely. I think it's just the safest play. Is there any other play I can make? What's the speed tiers looking like here? 169. What's this thing? This thing's like... Yeah. I'm just going to go Altaria. I'm just going to go Altaria and throw up the Draco Meteor and get off some chip. We could Hurricane if we're feeling ballsy. The question is... Do I like... I'm just gonna click Draco. I just don't think I need it. We actually kill. I wasn't sure if I would kill without, without, you know, that's, 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 oh, we crit. We crit on a Draco. I think we actually needed that crit. I don't think we would have killed without it. Maybe I'm wrong. I'd love to see a calc on that. That was a pretty lucky crit. 
I'll be totally honest. It, ju it just saves some HP on my Altaria. Like, it's not the craziest thing in the whole world, but I'll take it any day of the week. So, I want to go into Metacham here and get off a high jump kick. Obviously, it's scary if he wakes up before me and throws up a crunch. Crunch should be neutral to Metacham, correct? Maybe I just... I think there's just no reason to make that play. I think I'm just going to switch to uh, to Kendra and throw up a Draco Meteor on this Pokemon. I could actually like focus energy and go for a super greedy play. The super greedy play is to focus energy and then Draco Meteor. But I'm just going to Draco Meteor first. He waits up, gets the crunch off, finishes me off. That's totally okay. I'm super okay with all that. So I know he has Scald. Scald Crunch. Uh, I think I just come back in Altaria here. I'm just kind of I'm just kind of transitioning around Draco Meteors. Just in a Draco Meteor here. Get some decent chip. I want Metacham to be able to finish. Uh, that's a that's a fantastic sacrifice switch. Honestly, I respect that. Am I gonna miss another Draco Meteor as well? That's unfortunate. <laughs> I've missed I've had a lot. I've had like some pretty poor luck this game, but I guess also some pretty good luck. Um, I think I, I'm spexed in, right? So I'm spexed into Draco Meteor. Sure, I'm cool if there's nothing off. Um, that's a pretty good luck this game, but also some pretty bad luck. I've missed two Draco Meteors out of like four or out of three, I think, that have gone off. I think, yeah, my Kingdra one didn't go off. I think th three or four that I've that have gone off, I've missed two, which is pretty abysmal. I want to I want to reset this thing. Uh, I'm gonna sacrifice Steelix here. That's why we that's why we kept the Steelix switch. Early on into the game, it went into that jump plus. So now we can bring in Steelix and tank a hit on him, and maybe actually even live, which is crazy. But it doesn't, it doesn't matter. We're just we're just bringing in Steelix to uh, to sacrifice. Just go for any move. I'll just go for EQ. Scald finishes off my Steelix. Now I can go back into the Altaria and throw up the Draco Meteor, and then I can go. Actually, I can just go. There's no reason to go straight into Metacham here, I guess. Because Metacham has Bullet Punch, right? So if I want to, I can... Yeah. I could go Metacham and, like, go for the high jump kick. But if he crunches and it one-shots me, which I'm a little scared about, um, that becomes a huge issue, right? I just, don't, I just don't need to risk that. There's no reason to risk that. Are you kidding me? Well, that actually opens up an opportunity for me to lose this game. Wow. Huh. That is really, really unfortunate. Is there any reason for me to keep? No, I just do that. That's insane. I actually missed like three out of five Draco Meteors this game. It was either three out of five. I think it was three out of five, right? Holy. Um, now the question is, do I go for Alligator and try to live a hit? Or do I go Metacham and try to live a hit? I think I go Metacham first because it's Choice Banded. I feel like I can survive a Crunch. It should be neutral, right? It should be neutral damage. Imagine if he goes for a scald. Imagine if I miss the high jump kick. If I miss the high... If I, he, like, scalds, burns me, and I miss the high jump kick, I'll lose my mind. High jump kick. There we go. Okay. We call it a GG. That was surprisingly close, but we pulled it through. We'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that. My team was definitely way more powerful than his, though, I do think, but... Some good luck, some bad luck involved, weaved in between there. Some pretty good randoms today overall. I really hope you guys enjoyed these randoms. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe for more Pokemon content. Check out all the playlist links below if you want to see more Pokemon content. If you're just hungry for more content, go ahead and check those out. Consider joining my Discord, which is a super incredible community that I'm super happy to be a part of. You also learn a lot about the game by being in that Discord. And then finally, if you find it worthwhile, becoming a YouTube member to me for five bucks a month is an incredible way of going above and beyond and showing that love and support to me, and it means a ton. Thank you all so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it, and I'm super honored to be a part of this community, uh, and just thank you guys so much. Have a fantastic day, and best of luck to you guys in your Pokemon journeys.